Hi, so for today, we are going to continue our discussion all about the calculator techniques for engineering board exam. And for today's uh, video, we are going to learn how to uh, have a calculator technique in indefinite integrals, how to solve indefinite integrals using a calculator technique. Of course, this is only applicable if the question is uh, you have a multiple choice question. So without a multiple choice the calculator technique would not be valid okay you will not be able to calculate or uh, to apply the techniques in calculator technique if the exam or the board exam is not multiple choice but we all know that it is a multiple choice so let's get started so we have the problem number one we have here the evaluate the integral of x all over 4 plus x squared raised to 3 halves dx so yeah you have four choices here and the very first thing that uh, we are going to do right here is to basically uh, set our uh, mode or our calculator in terms of region. So we have regions. So just to make sure that if we encounter uh, trigonometric uh, functions, it would not be a problem. So better to switch the calculator in the region mode. So the very first thing that we're going to do here is uh, we are going to, to calculate this, we are going to type this uh, equation or expression as a whole without the integral sign. So let me just type. We have alpha x and then we have 4 plus alpha x squared raised to 3 halves. So when that happens, you are going to solve this. You are going to give a value of x. Okay, You are going to give a value of x. Always choose 0 0.1. You calculate it, you solve it using 0 0.1. And you will be getting a value. So you're going to store it into memory A. So shift store A for later comparison. Now, you're going to go to the choices and all through the choices, you're going to differentiate with the same value of x that we have inputted. x equals 0 0.1. So whichever choice will be equal to that what we have solved a while ago, that is the correct answer. So yeah, first let's go for letter A. We have to differentiate the choices. So simply type it, negative 1 all over square root of 4 plus alpha x squared. So yeah, we have a value of x here. We input 0 0.1 for the value. Same value that we have input. And so it's a standard that we use 0 0.1. So yeah. So again, it has a value and we're going to shift store it into B. So how would we know that the answer, this answer is correct? By simply dividing A, the one that we have stored a while ago, the value that has uh, calculated in substituting the value of X equals 0 0.1 here. And then it is divided by the differentiated 0 0.1 of the choices here. So if it is equal to 1, then it then it, it means that it is equal. So alpha B. So the answer here is letter A. So if we try to differentiate, okay, the second one, for example, just for the purpose of seeing that this is incorrect. Okay, so 0 0.1, right? So differentiate. So store it into B. So the, the, the previous B value will be replaced by this new value. So if we divide A divided by B, that would not be equal to 1. So it's not equal. Okay, that is the minimum. So again, we first uh, copy this integral without this expression, without the integral, and solve for the value by substituting some value of x equals 0 0.1 and then go to the choices. Okay, to compare the differentiated value of each of the choices. So letter uh, number 2, I mean. So number 2, we have the integral of sine cube of x, cosine raised to 4 of x, okay? And then uh, we have x dx. How do we calculate this? So first, again, we're going to input this in our calculator without the integral sign. So, in, in order for us to input sine cube of x, we have parenthesis sine of x raised to 3. Okay? So, that is the other way of 
basically uh, writing that. And then, multiplied by the cosine of x raised to 4. So, again, we are going to solve a value or input a value of x and let the calculator solve the value when we input x 0 0.1. So, this would be the value. Store it to A for comparison and then go to the choices. So, we are going to differentiate first the letter A. So, we have 1 all over 7. Then we have cosine of x, parenthesis cosine of x, then another parenthesis for its exponent, 7. And then we have plus 1 fifth. Okay, and then parenthesis cosine of x raised to 5. Yeah. Then solve 0 0.1. So yeah, store it to b, shift store b, then compare by dividing. If that is equal to 1, then that is the answer. If not, then that's not the answer. So it's negative. It's not the same answer. So again, let's move on to letter B by clicking the replay button here. Okay. So for letter B, we have 1 all over 7 cosine raised to 7 x minus. This becomes minus. So if I uh, replace this with minus, because that's the only difference between the choices A and B. Okay. So and I have, I have it solve x equals 0 0.1 so that is the answer so store again to b so compare by dividing a and b so that is basically equal to one it's approximately equal to one so the, the most probably this would be that answer okay but for you to to be uh really sure let's try the other one okay so the letter c so it's it says cosine raised to 7, so this would be 7, 1 fifth, then raised to 7, and this would be 1 all over 7 raised to 5, okay? So I'm going to solve this letter C by x 0 0.1. Differentiate this using x equals 0 0.1. So I have the value, shift store to b, then compare it to a divided by b. So yeah, it's not equal to 1. Okay, so most probably... The answer here, or the correct answer here, is letter B. So for problem number three, okay. So for problem number three, we need to get the integral of cosine of ln of x dx all over x. The same principle, type the equation without the integral sign. So we have cosine of the ln of x. And another parenthesis here, all over x. Then substitute 0 0.1, calculate it. So you have a value, store it to A, chief store A. So and go to the choices and differentiate, start differentiating. So we have cosine for A, ln of x, one parenthesis for the x, another parenthesis for the ln. So you have another parenthesis here uh, for the cosine. So we have 0 0.1, calculate it, shift store B, compare A divided by B, incorrect. So go back to that differentiation. So we, the, the, the difference from A and B is that it has negative. So let's try negative. Okay, and then solve it. Store it again to B. Then compare the answer. A divided by B. It should be equal to 0, but it's not. So letter C. Let's go. This cosine will be replaced with sine. Okay, so negative sine. So x equals 0 0.1. So, store it to B. So, let's try A divided by B. It's negative 1. It's not equal to 1, but it's negative 1. So, it's not the answer. Okay? So, go back to letter D. So, uh, the difference is that letter C has a negative, but letter D has no negative. So, let us delete this. And then, try to solve. Then again, shift store to B. And... Compare by dividing A and B. So we have 1. So our answer here is letter D for our integral here. So basically, that's the technique. Okay, Any indefinite integral, you can solve using that technique as long as the question has a multi is a multiple choice type question. So number 4, let us try another one Okay, for us to, be, to practice our knowledge. So again, we have x squared x squared all over square root oops square root of 1 minus x raised to 6 
So I think if you are going to uh, solve this manually, you're going to uh, recall the knowledge in uh, inverse, okay, the inverse integrals formulas. So solve using 0 0.1. So we have shift store to A, that value, then differentiate the choices. So we have 1 all over 6. And then we have arc sine. Okay, x squared. Okay, so we can now solve 0 0.1. The plus C that doesn't matter because the derivative of constant is always 0. So we solve. Then we have store it to B. So compare it, A divided by B. So it's not equal to 1. So let's time to move on with the second one. So the difference is the fraction and the exponent of x inside the inverse sign or arc sign. So this is raised to 6. Then we have 1 third. So this is 1 third. Okay. So solve using differentiate using x equals 0 0.1. So you have an answer, which is, I think, definitely not equal to our A if we divide it. So it's equal to 500. So that's huge. So another one, we have x cubed. Then we have one third. So let's try. So I think this is it. Store it to B and then compare it A divided by alpha B. So that's one. Okay. So basically, letter C is our correct answer for our problem number four. Okay, and it's your turn to solve this, okay? So you can solve this and comment down your answer using your calculator technique that we have studied a while ago. And the answer in this problem should be letter A, okay? So should be able to solve that problem or to use the calculator technique and have a correct answer that will be equal to the letter A. Okay, the integral of e raised to x all over e raised to x plus 1 would be the answer is ln e raised to x plus 1 plus c. So, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And for more calculator techniques and uh, tutorials, engineering and math tutorials. So, thank you so much and God bless.